continuous three V twos. And this is almost like a, a different version of West Jenny. So it's a wing to wing version of West Jenny in that it's a three on two and the last person to touch the ball is out of the drill. Okay. So the way that this would work is let's say X's are going to be on offense first. So these first three players in line know that they're up on offense. And for the first rep, we would just send two opposing players to go play D. All right. So the coach has the, uh, the, the balls here. He's going to pass to any of these three lines. It really doesn't matter. He should mix it up. And they're just going to play a three on two to the cage. Right. Uh, at the older levels, we would consider to have them not cross this center line um, so that they're focusing on playing high, low and working like almost two man game type stuff. However, it doesn't really matter um, for our younger ages and, and it really early season. It doesn't matter much. So they can get into, you know, a triangle formation if they wanted to. Um, but they're just going to score. Okay. So it's a three on two. And as soon as this ball hits the ground, so we want to be pretty consistent with this, um, you know, how strict we are on this, right? We don't want to like let the ball hit the ground and like just wait for them to pick it up and let it continue. Um, as soon as the ball hits the ground, like on a drop pass or anything, that rep is just done. All right. And so we're going to get the very next rep going. So you go from offense to defense to out. So these two defenders, they're out. They would just run to the back of the line. Whoever was the last person to touch it of the offense is out. And now these are the two defenders and the coach is going to throw the ball to one of these three on the other side. All right, same deal. Three on two, they go to goal. Let's just say this person, you know, catches the ball and just runs by and shoots. That's fine. All right, so he's he shot the ball. That means he's out. These two defenders are out. And these two would go and play D. Since this guy shot, he's out. So you go from offense to defense to out. Now coach throws it back to this side. Next three players are gone. So it's a very, very... Um, rapid fire drill you know if we're working with say third and fourth graders it's going to take um it's going to take a uh, several reps it's going to take several reps to get a good flow okay the reason being they're not going to know uh when they're in when they're out and who should be in and out you know it's going to take several reps at least for them to understand oh i am the last guy to touch it so i'm not in the next drill or i just played offense and i'm not the last guy to touch it so I need to go play defense. So it's helpful if we do have, um, you know, maybe a coach, at least one coach on either sideline, helping them facilitate, hey, Johnny, you're in this rep. Hey, you were the last to touch it. You're out. You know, really helping us um, keep these lines flowing. And this coach is really just focused on um, blowing the whistle dead as soon as the ball hits the ground so that they know, okay, next rep, as well as throwing the ball, physically throwing the ball to uh, you know that next group of three, all right? And then the thing to note here is that, you know, as you get good drill flow, you know, keep it rolling, but we do want X's to end up getting reps on, on this side of the field. And we do want the stars to get reps on that side of the field. So around halfway through, maybe a little more than halfway through because the beginning is gonna take a, it's gonna be a slow start to get things going around halfway through all three lines just basically switch sides and it's the exact same drill, but it's, it's helpful to get, um, get these unsettled three on two reps from the other side of the field, both offensively and defensively. All right. So this is a very fun, upbeat, fast paced game. You know, this is a game, so you can market this as a scrimmage to your team. This is a scrimmage, but there's rules to the scrimmage, you know, last guy to touch it's out, things like that. Um, and it's very, like I said, very similar to West Jenny, but it's on a left to right, um, axis with only one cage.